if sequence S has 240 terms, what is the 239th term of S? So the second to last term. Okay, but they don't tell us anything about the sequence uh, in terms of uh, the values. So let's look at the statements. Uh, statement one, each term of S after the first term is four less than the preceding term. In other words, our sequence, if it starts with some value uh, x, so the next term will be x minus four, and then the next term will be x minus eight, and the next term will be x minus 12, etc. So let's see, can we find, uh, so this is our first term, this is our second term, third term, fourth term. So can we find sort of an equation for to find the value of any term here? Uh, so we're looking for the 239th term. So it looks like any term is going to be uh, x minus uh, 4 times n minus 1. So uh, in other words, so here the fourth term is equal to x minus uh, 4 times 3. And so uh, the uh, 239th term is going to be x minus 4 times 238, but we still need x. We need what that first uh, value is. So this is going to be insufficient. Let's see if we can get the first value. If we get x from the uh, second statement. The 239th term of s is 952 less than the first term. And so this isn't helpful because what is 238 times 4? To put that 3 up here, uh, 4 times 3 is 12, plus 3 is 15, is 952. In other words, statement 2 is telling us really the same thing as statement 1. Uh, they are the same thing. They are not adding anything to each other. Uh, and so not only can I eliminate B as an option here, but I can eliminate C as well, because there's no point in looking at them together when they are saying the same thing. And the answer here is E.